In this video, we'll cover the basics of customizing the DX Data Grid widget. The grid allows you to instantly page through data using the built-in pager. You can sort data in ascending and descending order by clicking a column header. The grid even provides multiple column sorting. The DX Data Grid allows you to easily filter data. Just type some text into the filter editor to filter data. You can also change the default filter option. If I click the Edit button, it will switch the grid row into the Edit state with automatically generated editors. I can also delete a record or insert a new one. So let's get started. Like any widget from the Web App JS library, the DX Data Grid widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Globalize, and Web App JS. I've also referenced Web App JS styles that correspond to the light theme. Now we need to add the DX Data Grid widget to a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing employee information. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option. And let's see how the DX data grid looks with the specified data and default settings. As you can see, each column shows a text from a data source field to which this column is bound. Let's reduce the number of displayed columns. For this purpose, I'll assign an array of specified columns to the Columns option. I'll also add one more column with custom column settings. And let's see the result. OK. Now let's add user interactive capabilities for the grid. By default, paging is enabled, so I'll just change the size of the grid pages by adding the Page Size option. And let's look at the result. Our JS grid allows you to sort data without writing a single line of code. For example, I'll just change the sorting mode to multiple. I can sort a single column by clicking on it. To select several columns, press Shift and Required Columns. To deselect a column, press Control and the Required Column. Now I'll define the Allow Column Reordering and Allow Column Resizing options to allow end users to reorder and resize columns. And let's look at the result in the browser again. To allow end users to filter grid records, I'll enable the Filter Row. For this purpose, let's set the visible option of the Filter Row object to True. To filter grid records, type the required value or its part in the Filter Row cell. Matching records are determined according to the column's filter operation that is currently selected. To change the currently selected filter operation, click a filter icon and choose the required filter operation from the drop down list that appears. To restore the default filter operation, choose Reset from the list. In addition, I'll configure the title column to shorten the list of available operations and change a default filter operation applied to this column.
Let's review our changes in a browser. As you can see, the filter default operation is now contains, and a filter dropdown includes only four items. I'll type IC, and the grid now shows a single row that contains this character. Let's move on to the next step. Now we'll look at the row selection and data grouping features. To enable row selection, define the selection mode option. It can be carried out in single or multiple mode. Here, we'll use multiple. Let's see how the grid looks with these settings. I can change the grid selection by clicking a row of checkboxes displayed within the first column cells, or even select all the rows at once. I can also select a region of rows by pressing Shift and clicking rows that will be the first and last rows of the region. I'll click Control and a row to deselect it. As I showed at the beginning of this video, end users can apply grouping by dragging a column header and dropping it onto the group panel. So let's define the group panel option to enable the group panel. And let's look at the result. As you can see, DX data grid records can be grouped by one column or several. Finally, let's enable grid editing. For this purpose, I'll specify the Edit Enabled, Insert Enabled, and Remove Enabled options. And let's look at the result. Editing in the DX data grid can be performed in two different modes, batch and row. Since the row mode is used by default, we already saw how it works. Now let's enable the batch editing to edit data by cells. And let's see the result in the browser. To set a cell into the editing state, click it. I can also insert the new row in this mode. I can delete a row and even redo changes. I finished changes and now can save them all at the same time. And that's it. To learn more about elements of the DX Data Grid widget and how to customize them, make sure to check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.